Brad and Jay, have joined us from Men's Talk to introduce a new way students can reach out for help in regards to your well-being. Through these amazing wristbands, cards, and USB tags, ask your LEAP mentor to receive one. And we spoke to a young guy in the canteen um, <clears throat> and we were just trying to sort of make the plea that you know what um, we all have issues we all go through experiences in life that aren't pleasant but really like challenging and all that kind of stuff and quite often we don't know what to do with them we don't know where to turn to what to look at who to speak to and so um, we know the Wellbeing Hub Centre downstairs is a, is a great place of information but trying to get to there can be the biggest and hardest step possible so we tried to come up with a way that would be like sort of fun and unique and innovative. So um, we'll not demonstrate them now, but we'll just quickly show you. But we've got uh, uh, USB wristbands. So they're only 16 gig at the moment, which I know is not a great deal, but um, but they will be much larger. But it's just basically a USB wristband that you can wear anytime you like. Um, it's non-descriptive, so it's very discreet. No one would ever know what it's for or what, you, what it's all about. Um, but as part of the design, there's a QR code which you can scan on any device and it will take you to an app which will then link you to all the services available. Uh, that's charitable services, so if you need to, um, uh, if you wanted to, to call an emergency service like a crisis number, uh, you can press an icon and it will dial it for you automatically, it will send an SMS for you automatically. Um, there's lots of uh, short videos uh, which are on YouTube which helps you sort of um, explain what conditions are um, so you can sort of uh, educate yourself with knowledge and think actually yeah I, I have got that or that's what I'm suffering with at the moment so what can I do about it uh, which services should I choose and you can do all that kind of stuff through this little app that we produced which is accessed through the um, QR code so as well as the wristband we've also got a um, we've got a For the old schoolers out there, if you've got wallets or purses, um, we've also got like a, like a little smart card as well, uh, which has got a, a barcode in the centre. Uh, and again, if you want to store all your stuff, like you, you can even just use it for just storing your, your work for college. You've got like a, just a USB. It'll, it'll end up being about 64 gig, I think, when we go with it fully. Uh, and then the other little thing, which you can have on the end of a lanyard, um, it's just a little call it a quad but I always think of it as a cube but it's just a little sort of like key ring and all it is it's just got a barcode on it that you can scan so if, you know if, if somebody ever saw this in your bag they're not going to go oh I can see you know you've got mental health issues because you've got you know it says nothing on it at all um, and if anyone was to ask you like what you're using it for you just twist the top and it's just a memory stick so you can just say well it's just a memory stick when actually what you're doing is as well as using the memory stick, you're scanning that code and then accessing all the services that you need to very discreetly. Um, uh, the app isn't stored on your phone, you don't have to install it, it just streams. So you just scan it and you're on it and you can look for stuff, you can check out some videos um, and it helps you to help yourself. So you don't have to go and uh, find that person to talk to, you don't have to sort of spend hours searching the net, you don't have to worry about having a crisis card in your bag and somebody finding it. You can access all that information uh, just through um, a little barcode. Uh, this is a trial we've done. It's never been done before. It's completely. Uh, um, we've got a, a new innovation for to help you guys uh, access mental health services um, and the wellbeing hub as well downstairs. So um, we're going to come in on on Wednesday um, just to give a little chat to you guys and show you what we do. Uh, it's all free stuff as well. So. Um, we thought we'd come back in on Wednesday. Yeah, uh, obviously, as you can clearly tell, there's a big age, uh, age difference. I'm not his dad, us. by the way. No, he's, he's not my dad. Uh, <laughs> but we, f we figured that, knowing with mental health, that we all struggle eventually. No, no matter if it's you've already gone through your struggle or you're still going through it or you're still waiting to get there. Uh, we've decided that enough's enough. Before. Uh, you get a problem, we're here to try and prevent it. So on Wednesday, 
uh, we'll be coming back in. I'll, I'll be delivering a speech. This isn't my speech, don't worry. I've got social anxiety myself, so this is probably not the best speech I'll ever do in my life. Join the club. But, <laughs> but what we're doing is we're creating this innovation that's going to change the world, hopefully, even if it's just with one person. Because if we help you, that's my dream come true. So that's the aim of us, guys.